Here's why the F-22 Raptor will be retired, when the 6th generation fighter comes. The F-22's retirement could depend on when a replacement for the 6th generation fighter takes to the air. The United States originally planned to purchase a total of 750 twin-engine Lockheed Martin F-22 Raptors, but the program was shortened to only 187 operational production aircraft due to high costs. The last F-22 was delivered in 2012, and there are now reports that the plane's future is in question. The United States originally planned to purchase a total of 750 twin-engine Lockheed Martin F-22 Raptors, but the program was shortened to only 187 operational production aircraft due to high costs. The last F-22 was delivered in 2012, and there are now reports that the plane's future is in question. Air Force officials have noted that the fifth-generation stealth aircraft lacks the magazine depth and range needed to fulfill the air superiority fighter role in the next decade. That doesn't mean the currently operational F-22 Raptors will be delivered to pastures and museums anytime soon, but unlike the Lockheed Martin F-35 Lightning II, the Raptor won't be flying high until the 2070s. The F-22's retirement could depend on when a replacement for the 6th generation fighter takes to the air. In about the 2030 timeframe, you're talking about a 40-year-old platform, in the F-22, and that's not going to be the right tool for the job, especially when we're talking about defending our defenses. Friends like Taiwan and Japan and the Philippines against China's growing and evolving threat, Lt. Gen. Clinton Hynote, Air Force Deputy Chief of Staff for Strategy, Integration and Requirements told Defense News in an October 2 interview. Lt. Gen. Hynote is not the only Air Force top brass speaking out against the F-22. Air Force Chief of Staff Gen. Charles, CQ. Brown told a McAleese and Associates conference Wednesday that the Air Force is thinking about a future fighter fleet and that does not include the fifth-generation F-22. General Brown said the goal was to get four warplanes or as Brown described it four plus one, down from the seven currently in service. The plus one would include the A-10, a ground attack aircraft that is not a pure fighter. Right now we have seven fighter fleets, Brown said, adding, my goal is to get down to about four. With those four, what's the right mix? That could include the F-35, which is seen as the cornerstone for the fleet, along with the Boeing F-15EX, as well as the Lockheed F-16 and Fairchild Republica 10 for, at least temporarily, and then the next generation air dominance fighter. The F-15E and especially the F-22 are not on the list, but according to Air Force magazine, citing a spokesperson from the service, Brown is thinking longer to at least 2030 or so. The F-22 is still undergoing modernization, said USAF spokeswoman Ann Stefanik. There are no plans to retire anytime soon. Obviously, the F-22 will, eventually, retire, but it will likely be sooner rather than later. A possible replacement for the Raptor is GAD. We treat the F-22 as a bridge to NGAD capabilities, Hynote added in his exclusive interview. As for the other aircraft that the Air Force will cut, the F-15EX is on track to replace its aging fleet of F-15C, D fighters as well as the F-15E Strike Eagle, while the A-10 and F-16 could eventually be replaced by the FX. 35 extra. I don't have to make that decision today, Brown said. That's probably six, seven, eight years from now. The jet, which was developed and deployed long before the F-35 stealth fighter, contains a number of classified technologies that Washington fears will leak to its adversaries if the F-22 hits the market. The U.S. Air Force has declassified a report to Congress exploring the sale of the American Air Superiority-Oriented F-22 Raptor fighter jet, which has never been offered for purchase overseas, the Drive website reports, citing documents obtained under the Freedom of Information Act, FOIA. Request. The F-22 program was slapped with an export ban in September 2006 by the U.S. Congress because the jet contained a lot of technology, including stealth, that had never been exported. Although lawmakers ruled that this technology should be kept secret even from allies for fear of falling into enemy hands, they are still trying to figure out how to make the F-22 available for sale. Several reports have been made since the late 1990s, as the jet was still under development, but the most recent, presented in March 2010, remains classified today. 
separate export version required according to media websites, the U.S. Air Force, which prepared the report, suggested building an export version of the jet, dubbed the F-22 Foreign Military Sales, FMS. The original F-22 included some of the components used in the F-35, a fighter that was built specifically for sale, and had precedents that had to be approved for purchase, as is. However, at least three important systems are unique to the F-22. Two are camouflaged in heavily edited reports and a third is known as the Raptor's advanced 2D thrust vector and super cruise capabilities. This system will be replaced or modified to allow it to be sold to other countries' militaries. Some F-22 systems similar to those installed on the F-35 must be replaced. The FMS F-22 will feature the Joint Strike Fighters and APG-81 Active Electronically Scanned Array AESA, radar instead of the domestic and APG-77. Among other things that need to be changed are the jet's avionics with mission data files that need to be customized per individual client, as well as stealth, armor and weapon components. To add to the list of peculiarities, the FMS F-22 will give potential customers more sovereignty over their jets than the F-35. The latter is equipped with a pre-installed Cloud Autonomous Logistics Information System, ALIS, and programmable software, which is made and operated solely by the US, except for the F-35 Adir supplied to Israel. Owners of FMS F-22S, on the other hand, will have complete control over their jets, although they will not be able to manufacture their parts domestically, as is the case with the F-35. F-22 FMS fees, for customers and for the US the authors of the website report projected the production cost of the FMS F-22 based on two scenarios, whether to start immediately or if it was purchased after production of the US military jet. The last one came in 2012, after the US cut orders from 750 jets to 187. One reason for the drop in orders is the Raptor's price tag. It costs about $338 million per airframe versus about $80 million for a normally equipped F-35. However, the export scenario presents a different price, from $232.5 million, $259 million at 2021 prices, if the product line for jets is to be revived, to $165 million each. $184 million in modern prices, in terms of sustainable manufacturing. One obvious reason for the price drop is the expectation that prolonged production of the Lockheed Martin F-22 for export purposes will reduce procurement and operating costs for all countries, including the U.S. However, the report does not detail the potential benefits for the U.S., nor does it take into account the costs of training programs for new pilots. Although ways to make the F-22 jet fit for sale were outlined, Congress never acted on the information. The program was later discontinued because the F-22 jets were focused on air-to-air -air combat and potential adversaries the US, Russia and China, had not progressed much with their own combat programs according to the Pentagon. Simultaneously, the emerging F-35 fifth-generation stealth jet offers greater flexibility at a lower price and the ability to quickly sell it to other militaries. The F-22 initially sparked interest from potential buyers. Israel, Japan and Australia were all exploring the possibility of buying it. However, all three countries ultimately refused to buy, partly because of the export ban and the incoming F-35. The F-22 program, which cost $32.4 billion to develop and $35 billion to buy from Lockheed Martin,